It's not surprising that with ocean views like this, that seafood is big in the Golden State. But did you know that aquaculture is found in almost every county of the state, ranging from bass in the desert to caviar in the valley to abalone off the coast? And for the last 50 years, California has been the leading aquaculture producer and the leader in the development of environmentally sound aquaculture. But these days, you just never know where the next operation is going to turn up. The sun-baked desert of the Coachella Valley is probably the last place you would think to find a thriving fishing operation. But it is a place where millions of fish are raised to feed a hungry world. Kent SeaTech in Mecca spans 160 acres and is not only the largest hybrid striped bass farm in the world, it's a place of scientific research and friendly to the environment. Wetlands have been created which offer a paradise for birds here. Water is efficiently recirculated and utilized several times, including to grow crops. All of this is the culmination of a dream that began decades earlier for company president Jim Carlberg. For more than 20 years, they have utilized a surprisingly abundant, beneficial resource in the desert, underground geothermal water. It all starts when three million fingerling fish are placed in concrete tanks. The feed at this time, fish will consume uh, eight to ten times their body weight per day. It's no accident the bass grow fast and are in impeccable health. Computers control water temperature and feed, and in virtually no time, the little fish have grown at a rate much faster than in the wild, and have consistency, which is almost impossible to achieve in a natural setting. When the bass are ready for market, it's time for one of the strangest fishing trips you'll ever see. After about 14 months of culture, the fish reached about a two pound market size. We then harvest four days a week, about 80,000 pounds a week. We have fish that are harvested here, shipped out of Los Angeles by air, can be consumed in New York the next night. On the average, a wild fish is in a boat for anywhere from three to six days, goes through a broker, wholesale distributor, through a processor. By the time it's on the plate, it's typically 10 days to two weeks old. Freshness and a controlled environment contribute to the popularity of farm-raised fish, although what matters in the end is taste. These fish head to Asian wholesale markets, sushi bars, and white tablecloth restaurants. And just like with many other types of seafood, chefs are learning that bass offer an enviable combination of great taste and excellent nutrition. Take Chef Bernard at Crusoe in Palm Desert, for example. A restaurant considered one of the best in America, Chef Bernard has long enjoyed bass from Kent Sea Tech and has prepared it in countless dishes. He understands keeping customers coming back for more starts with the fantastic opportunity of having a farm almost in his own backyard. That's the most important thing. You know, if you don't have good ingredients, you can do good dish. Simple as that. They come to the restaurant so fresh and so nice, you know, that's very, very important. Long called the jewel of Japanese cuisine, fresh fish is also an essential element to the dishes they serve up at Sacramento's Crew Restaurant. Here, contemporary Japanese cuisine is mixed with fresh California ingredients to produce some of the best meals in town. I call it contemporary Japanese cuisine, but really it's just, uh, we have sushi, but it's, the food is just a, a fusion of everything I grew up with. Here, Japanese-inspired small plates mingle alongside well-executed entrees on an exciting menu that makes the most out of fresh seafood all around them, including a rather interesting fishing operation just up the road. 
Just outside of Sacramento, you'll find Stolt Sea Farm with tens of thousands of sturgeons in tanks containing millions of gallons of water. Seeing is believing here. Fish farming in this country has is, is, is been coming on in the last 20 years and, and sturgeon is sort of one of the, the, the slowest ones to develop because it does take a long time. It takes eight years for these fish to mature for their primary purpose, producing caviar, usually about seven pounds per fish. With gentle precision, eggs are washed over screens to ensure only the best quality remains. From the Central Valley to the desert to maybe even your dinner table tonight. The journey of California farm-raised fish is so unconventional, you have to see it to believe it. It's all part of the pioneering work at a farm where the fish stories are indeed all true. For California Country, I'm Tracy Sellers.